Hi everybody, my name is Jill and welcome to Beyond the Shadows where I talk about all things true crime. I hope that you guys are having a good day. Um, if you could remember to check to see that you're subscribed, like and share out this video, it will help my channel grow. So what I found out is I'm gonna start with the autopsy. So Ellen Greenberg, she died on the 26th. Her autopsy was not given until the 27th. After the 27th in that autopsy, the medical examiner said, wait a minute, this is not a suicide, this is a murder investigation. To where the police then on the 28th were going to go and search the apartment because now the medical examiner had come back and said this was not a suicide. However, things had, were already cleaned up. Uh, what had happened was that Ellen, sorry, was that Sam, Ellen's fiance, had instructed his uncle, and his uncle is a prominent judge, may I add. They, um, Brian Inton was on this case about a month ago, and he tracked down one of the EMT workers that was there when they went and found Ellen and you know gave aid to her. And he said that Sam was wearing sweatpants. He wrote it in his report. He said he's always very detailed. However, recently some surveillance footage have come out where it does show Sam going to the gym to work, into the gym, we assume to work out. But as he's coming out, Sam is wearing shorts in that footage and that's right before he claims he found Ellen's body. So did he change?
There is a lady that is a librarian, but on the side she does sleuthing. She has been, she obtained surveillance from the apartment on that day. And she said she combed over all the surveillance and she took notes because what she had seen was a an unknown man had come down looking very, very suspicious. She had noticed that um, he had he had something in his, what looked in his pants. He had gone up the stairs, the back stairs, came back down. Uh, she said at some point, Sam had conveniently dropped his key card on the floor. And she said the man made a beeline and picked up his key card and went off with it. Um, she said that after that, he went back upstairs and he was upstairs the whole time that Sam was in the gym. Then Sam reappears in the video. Sam looks to be dabbing something on his finger, maybe like a cut or something, um, which is suspicious, obviously. And there's a that was a three hour window of all this footage that she had looked through and sent to the police. And um, I don't think they can find any of it. I think that it's conveniently lost. I've looked everywhere on the internet to try and find the other footage that the librarian was talking about. I can't find it anywhere. It's conveniently gone. And also she sent this video footage that she had was able to obtain in all her notes two years ago to the police. Now, the case was switched to Chester County because they said there was a conflict of interest where it was originally going to be taken, where they're originally doing the um, investigating. So anyway, that is the newest information on this case that I know that I've been able to find. If anybody can find the, vid the other video that the librarian is talking about, uh, tag me in it. I want to see it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep you updated on this case. It's, I think eventually they're going to get caught because I don't think that this was a suicide. I think someone took Ellen's life and I don't know if it was Sam or the mystery man or if it was both of them, but I think they both have a lot to do with what happened to Ellen that day. And I hope that between the private investigator and the Supreme Court, ruling that they can take a look at the cause of death for Ellen again, that it comes to light because she deserves, she deserves justice and her parents deserve an answer for their only daughter in this whole world to be taken at, in such a horrendous, horrible way. Anyway, I hope to see you on the next video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.